Hello world, my name is Silver Draconis and welcome back to CrossCode. In the last episode, we explored uh, the rest of the Newcomer's Bridge. We ended up coming through here. We met a green -haired, the green-haired specky dude who immediately accused us of cheating, which was lovely. And now we're here. Uh, our friend Emily has gone up ahead. And we I'm going to catch up with her in a moment. I just want to explore a little. Oh, hello. Oh, she's hiding. No, I want, I want to see you. Ah. All right. She clearly wants some alone time. Eh, no talk. Yar, the sea sounds restless. A storm is afoot. Hmm? Can I push this? No. Okay. Huh. So this place is pretty big. Do, 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 do. And also pretty empty. It doesn't seem like many people are hanging around. Oh, there's a chest in there! Ooh, I want it! Ooh, I want it! How do I get it? Okay. How do I get you? Can I go in the building? No. No! I cannot. Oh, wait, 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 I think I see. I want that chest! Secret, secret, secrets. Can I make that jump? Oh, is it actually getting dark or... Weird. I thought it just got dark for a second. Yeah. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, yeah. I'm certain. Oh, it is getting dark. There's... There are clouds in this game? What? That's nuts! Also, I made it, but holy shit, there's clouds! Ooh, I got six spicy buns. What does that do? Uh, spicy buns. Oh, it went up to my attack for 50 seconds. So then this... I still don't know what buff that is. I can tell that that's attack because it's a little sword. Can I... like? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Hmm. I don't know what buff that is. It does something for 30 seconds. Maybe it ups my speed? Or... Oh, wait, green sparkles. Hang on, wait, wait. Maybe... My circuit board will tell me. Green sparkles. Maybe it's... Health re... Health regen! Okay. Because that has green sparkles. That's my best guess. It's either health regen or maybe, like, speed? I don't know. But either way, uh, I got a chest. I feel smart. Hello. Greeting, Seeker. I have to keep watch on the harbor and protect the citizens, so please excuse me. Okay. Oh, oh, do with exclamation mark. Hello, do you have a quest? Hey, girl, check this out. Oh, you can, you can walk on the railings. Sweet moves, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can rock them railings, too. Wanna try some moves? Try reaching them boxes without touching the ground. Okay. Just all you up on the box here and start grinding those rails. What do you say? Ready to style? Man in Ricky Harvest challenge you to beat his challenge. Go ride those railings and show him what you got. Yeah. Accepted. Psh. Chill, dog. Show me what you got. Uh, show tutorial, please. You can see your quest within the quest menu. Focus on a quest and see the details to the left. You can see more details by selecting it. Press B to mark the focus quest. Cool. The current task is the of the mark quest will display on your HUD. You can change the mark quest outside the menu with Q and E. Repeat? No. Okay. Let's go! Ah, crap! <laughs> Hang on, I can do it, I can do it. This is gonna take some... Okay. Fuck! Okay, this is hard. <laughs> it's hard getting the... I, I don't know where the hitboxes for the railings are. Okay, I really don't want to fall in the water. I heard that avatars are not... Water resistant. Okay. Getting there. 
Okay, this is tense and tough. I mean, it's not that tough, but I'm bad at precision things. But it's good for me to learn, because I will likely need this. So this is how I can get to that girl as well. But I will come back and do that once I finish this, because I don't want to jump off. Okay, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Da 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 da! Yeah! Yes! Killed it! Sweet! Hell yeah! Come back here to get your reward! I'm a coming! Okay, that was fun! I felt like I was in danger of falling every two seconds. Oh yeah, that was sick, girl! Hi! May your mushrooms always be sautéed and your onions always be grilled. Gravy, girl! Uh, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Gravy girl, that's an interesting one. Alright. He rolled those railings like a pro, man. Yeah, even the quest says I'm awesome. Give me those rewards. Cool. And I got 200 EXP. Nice. Okay, so that's my EXP bar. So I want to actually get back up here. I wonder if I can just do it from here, though, because I don't want to go around all those corners again. But I want to talk to that girl. So let me just come back down here quick. Yep. Oops. Ow. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so, water bad. <laughs> we have found out for certain that water is indeed bad. Okay. Hello. Oh, I can't actually talk to you. Ah. Sad day. I want to talk to you. Wee! That's fun though. Do 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 do. All right, let's go find Emily. Now that we have done everything, well, pretty much everything. Hang on, can I go in this building? Can I buy things? Oh, I can go in the building. What's a restaurant? Uh, I can't talk to anybody. Why can't I talk to anybody? Nobody. Ooh, don't dump on, don't jump on the table. All right, maybe I can talk to the barkeep or the shopkeeper. Ooh, shit! Stop! Stop! Okay. Hey there, seeker. You can make yourself comfortable, but you also better order something. Hi. Well, I would like to order something. Can I order something? Hello. I'm on the table. I don't think I can talk to anybody. Can I go back here? I can. Maybe they're all NPCs. What was this? Did they honestly design it this way? I think so. What the hell? It is dump me off into the water? What the fuck? Okay. Maybe that'll come into play later. Alright then. <laughs> Uh, even Sergey was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> just dump you into the water? Oh, it's pretty. Hey, over here. <laughs> Look at all these old style buildings. It's like we're in some sort of medieval fantasy world, no? Well, except for the tech, but sure. So, right now I'm waiting here to meet a friend. But I haven't seen him so far. There's just so many people here. I don't know what- Oh no, I don't know what voice that is! I don't even know what that says! <laughs> I don't know what voice to give you! Oh no, you're- uh. <laughs> Sakura Blue, was that really necessary? Yes, yes, very necessary. I see you bought a friend? Ah, oi, that's Leia. I met her during the, the tutorial. Hi! And this is- Dark Lord Meanie here is Lucas, also known as Snyder. Nice to meet you, Leia. <laughs> so, you finally reached the croissant. Having fun so far? Hui! Ero... Eromente. So she's French, I got that, but he said something at the beginning that was in a different language, because it had like the dots over the O's and stuff. 
So I don't know. Ugh. I don't. I'm bad at accents to begin with, but I don't know. The mainland. You'll get the idea once you see the map. Anyway, this here is Rookie Harbor. It's known for the incoming shipments of rookie, just like you. It's also a fairly big place, which tends to be confusing for said rookies. So I thought I'd give you a small tour. Trace bien, lead the way. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. First, the info building. If you really want to dig out all those details of Crossworlds, this is your place. Yes, give me the lore and the backstories and the little little intricacies. Yes. Combat art skills, all the stats from A to Z, you name it. Oh, that's the nerd hub, right? Yeah, ja, wait, ja, that, that, people, that, isn't that like northerner stuff? Like, Swedish and Norwegian and stuff. Hmm, maybe, I don't, I don't know how to do those accents, though. Uh, unless I want to be really freaking stereotypical and mean, but I'd rather not do that. But I want to, uh, I don't, I don't know. Ja, people call it that. Frankly, it's a good thing to know about all that stuff. But it's not mandatory. It's just a place to go back to whenever you're confused about something. Let's move on. By the way, emulator, nice one. <laughs> I know. What's Snyder supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm a tribe leader. I cut things. Ooh, can I be a tribe leader? What? Not worth explaining. So there is a, a, a blade. So there's Spearmancer, tribe leader, Pentafist. Where the hell they go? What the fuck? Where'd they go? I was looking down at the text and I looked up and they were gone. Shit. Ah. Your friend's still not here. What's the hold of? I don't know. He said he'd arrive around this time. Maybe stuck in Rhombus Square watching the city from afar. You know how it is. Yeah, can't wait to finally enter that place, too. Hmm. Okay, so the, the signs actually do work. But where'd they go? Shit, I wasn't paying attention! They are late. Come on, relax, there's still time. I'm ready to schedule in ten minutes. I don't think it's planned. It's just gonna be a mess. Don't be so serious about it. It's supposed to be fun, remember? Yeah, have fun. Where'd they go? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey there. You seem kind of lost. If you're waiting for somebody, this is the right spot. Pretty much everyone here is waiting for new players arriving from Cross Central. It's a popular meetup spot. You seem to be a new player too, so you know what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. You're a quiet one, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's a wall. Where... Where'd they go? <laughs> Shit. Hey, it's nice here in the shade, right? Isn't it? Hi? Yeah. Oh, you can't even see them unless you actually go back there. That's cool. I love all the little conversations that you can just hear and talk to people, though. Welcome to Rookie Harbor. Thanks. Oh, that water makes you want to jump right into it. Don't do that! That's bad! Not sure I'd do that with your amount of armor. Not sure I'd do that at all. You're also you just dissolve and respawn. Yep. Killjoy. <laughs> I have experienced it. You do in fact Oh. Ooh, there are things I could shoot. How do I Oh Oh, oh there's things! There's things and stuff, but I have to shoot them from that side. Oh there's there's a platform over there. Hang on. Ah, I didn't want to go in Well, I guess we're in info now. Hello. Greeting Seeker, if you desire more in-depth knowledge about your abilities, talk to our experts here. I can also reset your skills for a small donation, if you so desire. Okay, so... I can change up the skills that I want if I don't like the way- Not that one. If I don't like the way I've put them on my circuits. Good to know! Hello. Hi! Bro, straighten up and get in shape! Your body is your temple, man! Eh? No buts or ifs or maybes. Your body's what keep you alive, so you must work for it, bro. Also, you must know how your body works, man. I can explain, so just hit me up. Uh, sure. Always good to know how things work. Bro, there's four basic stats in Crossword. HP, Attack, Defense, Focus. 
The HP are your life. More HP means more damage you can take and survive by tanking like a boss. Hell yeah. Pumping HP will also make healing more effective, both for eating and your body's own healing. More attack increases the damage you inflict with your attacks. But bro, remember there's more factors that change the damage, like modifiers you get from your gear. Your defense will reduce the damage and protect your HP from getting chipped. It also strengthen your shield when you try and block and tank damage. And focus, bro, dude, that's doing a lot of things, man. Like, how fast you increase those SP. Also, having higher focus increases the chance of doing critical hits and decreases the chance of taking them. And there's like, the, uh, and then there's the window for perfect guard and dash invincibility that gets longer with higher focus. Dash invincibility? That sounds awesome. Believe it, man. So important, bro. So train your body and get good equipment, because that's actually way more important for stats. Bummer. Got any more questions, bro? Explain buffs to me, man. Dude, you're interested in proper diet? Good thinking, bro. Foods are the primary source of getting buff. Use it and look at your power sore, man. It's only temporary, though, and you can only have one food buff after that time. Limited digestion, man. Staying buff can make a huge difference, so keep well fed. Your body will thank you. Got any more questions, bro? No, I'm good. Take care, bro. That guy was awesome. I loved how his personality came through the text. It was so good. Hi, Ms. Lee. Be greeted, Seeker. I am Miss Lee, grand grandniece of the great Master Sensi. Oh. The other commerce was flowing through our lineage long before secrets were ever even a mere thought. All that wisdom can be yours if you're willing to learn. Hell yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, the art of close combat is indeed fast and powerful. Even groups of enemies can be kept at bay by skilled fighters. You, Spearmanter, will execute a series of three swings, followed by a powerful spin attack of great range. Though the last attack is rather slow, creating openings for counterattacks. Thus, a wise fighter considers to dash out of a combo to continue attacking without delay. Ooh, that is smart. The legendary technique is called Dash Cancel, and can be used to cancel almost everything. More questions? Yes. Yes. The dash is an essential technique in fights and allows you to traverse short distances at, building, at blinding speeds. The speed alone allows for safer evasions, but it has another property, the mystical flash step. A dashing fighter will be completely invisible for a fleeting moment and even phase through some objects. The time is short, but it can be prolonged by strengthening your flash step ability and focus. More questions? Secrets of guarding, please, I need help on that one. When facing vicious attacks, raising your god is often the wisest course of action. It will greatly reduce all damage in the direction you face and is often safer than trying to evade. Though beware your shield, that your shield can break after absorbing a lot of damage. The efficiency and endurance of your shield depends on your defense. Defen defen depends on your defense da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. and the specialization solid gear modifier. However, if your guard is timed perfectly, it will never break and negate all damage. This is the fable to be a perfect guard. There are, however, some mighty attacks that mysteriously ignore shield. Be wary of those. More questions? Nope, I'm good. Fine, come back when you desire guidance again. I will. This is awesome! I'm learning! Element. <laughs> I love their- <laughs> Oh my god, I love their names. Yes, what is it? Who dares interrupt my science? Oh, it is a seeker. Oh well, you might be worthy of my knowledge. You must know I am the great expert of the elemental silence in I'm the greatest expert of elemental silence in all of Southern Rookie Harbor. So give me your banal questions and let me enlighten you. Elemental basics, please. Oh, you still need to understand the basics. Alright. By drawing upon the power of the track seat of the track. By drawing upon the power of the track seekers can extend their basic abilities with one of four elements. To actually do that, though, you'll need to earn ele each element in the temples of the track. Prove yourself worthy, so to speak. Aside from being superior in raw power compared to neutral, it can also deal additional damage to the right enemies. Like we found out in the beginning, fire is stronger to ice. Or ice is weak to fire. That's the thing, though. Is, like, one thing stronger than another, or are things weaker to certain elements? Because that is a difference. However, there are also possibility of enemies being resistance to some element or another, so don't turn your brain off. Okay, so they can be resistant, or they can be weak to elements. But one element is- okay. Good, good. This also applies to you as well, so keep an eye on your resistances if you enter dangerous environments. Also, you should know that elemental modes can cause a natural resistant malice of 
to their counter- A nat- a natural resistant malice can cause a natural resistant malice of 50% to their counterpart. For example, using heat mode, you'll take 50 more percent damage by cold attacks unless you raise your resistances. Okay. So using it can increase our damage to certain elements, but it also lowers our resistance to uh, the, our opposite. So we have to buff our resistances with different items and abilities and such. Anything else? Yeah. When using element mode in other than neutral, your element load will increase. This happens when you do any action during any element mode. Throwing a ball, doing a slash, etc. It is of no matter if you hit a foe or not, so, blinding attack so blind attacking is a foolish thing to do. Just pay attention to your elemental display in the upper left corner if you want to know your overload. The icon will fill up a yellow color. Once, a fill, once it's filled, the elemental overload will happen and force you into neutral. Okay. Ah, crap. I'm... I'm very bad at spam attacking. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. To decrease the element load, you can switch back to neutral mode and continue attacking enemies. Using neutral, especially when attacking enemies, will cool down the overload much quicker. Okay, so once I overload, I just need to switch back to neutral, and then I'll be able to lower it down, switch back into whatever mode I was in. Bam, 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 bam. Good, 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 good. Anything else? Status conditions, please. Those are always good. Ah, status conditions. An immensely fascinating topic. Some see it as truly as the truly cultured way of fighting. Status effects are pretty cool. In any case, each element has an associated condition that will weaken any enemy in some way. Fire, burn, ice, freeze, and slow. I don't know the other one. Heat can cause burn, which causes damage over time, as it does. Cold can cause chill, slowing down a victim's movement attacks. What else we got? Okay, so we got shock damage. Shock can cause jolt, which does damage over time, while also interrupting and stunning the enemy shortly. Okay, shock sounds cool. Weave. Wave. Okay, so there's fire, ice, electric, and water. Wave can cause mark, which will increase all ranged damage that the victim will receive. To trigger a condition you have repeated... To trigger a condition you have to repeatedly use... To trigger a condition, you have to repeatedly use charge shots or certain combat arts on an enemy. You will see a special bar under the enemy that fills until the condition is finally triggered. Anything else? No. Okay. I'm sure we'll get in more into that once we actually get different element types, but it's good to know the basics. And you. You must deal with items. Good day, mate. I'm the tech professional specialist of circuits and other hardware. Oh. Seekers like you utilizing advanced biolink hardware to draw powers from the track. If you want to know more about the application, just shoot your questions. I don't know an Aussie accent, but I'm doing my damn best. Nods. Nods basic circuit question. <laughs> I didn't realize as I was picking different one. It's like, wait, how, how would they know? <laughs> That's really funny. Well, to improve your circuit, you need to collect CP. Yes. You can get more CP by growing your level and from some special attacks that sometimes get rewarded to dutiful secrets. This is awful. <laughs> if you got CP, you can use them in one of your circuit, either neutral or one of the elements if you got any. Skill nodes need to connect it to the skill nodes need to be connected to the center and have one or three levels. Higher levels tend to be more powerful but also need more CP to activate. Skills on branches can be switched at any time without cost. For the rest you gotta do a full reset with the advisor here. More questions? Yes, please. See, as a girl, as a seeker, you'll wield up the four elements in addition to- So that might be the different four areas, instead of just being more attack, more defense. Those might- those will probably deal with the different elements then. Okay. Each of them have their own circuit and only empowers you with the right- and only empowers you with the right elemental mode. An exception is a neutral circuit that represents the very core of your circuit board, the one we have unlocked now. Activated nodes on this neutral circuit also empower elemental nodes with 50% of their value. More questions? Ah, some modifiers can be tricky. Which one confuses you? Wow, there's a lot. Iron Stance. The Iron Stance modifier lets you ignore stun and knock back from attacks. So you can just keep fighting. Keep on fighting. I... God, the voices. I I don't know how to do accents. <laughs> Though you can only ignore attacks up to a certain limit depending on their damage. The maximum damage you can ignore is the iron stance per percentage of the... 
I'm just going to read normally because I actually need to pay attention. The maximum damage you can ignore is the Iron Stance percentage of the max HP value. So a fighter with 100% max HP and 10% Iron Stance can ignore all attacks of 100 damage or less. Ooh. Okay. Obviously, it's more reliable against many small attacks compared to powerful hits, obviously. And without a decent defense or max HP, you won't find it very useful either. Any other modes that confuse you? Pin body. That must mean that if I get hit, other people will get hurt. Presumably. The pin body modifier, yeah, reflects a certain amount of damage to attackers when blocking their attacks. The reflected damage depends on how much is absorbed by the shield and your overall defense value. Okay, so I have to use my shield. Ah, crap. I really need to find a decent button to put my shield on or figure out how to get a controller to work. Because right now, trying to push Waz and then bring up my shield is very annoying. Ugh. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, when attackers, when, while the attacker's defense reduces the damage as usual, the defense of the defender further increases it. Thus, it's a very useful ability for defensive fighters. Just tank your enemies to death, mate. Any other modes that confuse you? I need a drink. Oh, that's a lot of talk in this episode. I did not expect. Now it's a assault question. The assault modifier adds additional shockwaves. Ooh. I want that. I want it. I want it. Ooh, I want iron body and this one. The total strength of all shockwaves is the modifier percentage of the normal strength. Additional shockwaves will appear at appear each 25% modifier value, though the overall damage stays the same. Cross counter. What's this? The cross counter modifier increases the damage on a counter. This melee attacks. This means attacks against enemies that are either currently attacking or preparing attack. Okay. And bouncer. The bouncer modifier increases damage against weakened enemies. This explicit. This. <sighs> this explicitly affects enemies that have been broken in some way. Breaking works differently for every foe. You'll find it's only in special equipment, though, not in any circuit. Uh. Nope, oh, I'm good. Okay. Whew. So we just got a lot of information thrown at us all at once. But it's useful. It's useful and good stuff. I can hit this. So I have a feeling I'm going to be a more melee fighter rather than a ranged fighter. I can already tell. Because I'm, I've never been too fond of range to begin with. So I'll probably only use it when I have to. That doesn't mean I'm not going to upgrade it, but it'll probably be lower on the totem pole of upgrades. What is this all? Oh, I wonder if this is going to be like a PvP or a battle arena area when I get higher level. Oh, yeah! Okay, so I can practice against enemies, and these guys are just waiting for someone to come along and watch. So I don't want to do that right now. Let's go down, though. I think they can see me turning down the staircase as I go. Oh, this must be a puzzle practice. Mm, he has a quest marker, though. A new seeker in my dojo. Hmm. If you want my help on the list, you first need to get... Speak to the advisor in the quest hub if you must. Yes. Huh? Speak to the advisor in the quest hub. Okay. So I'll be able to do his quest once I get a different quest from... Person. Okay, well there that was all that then. Holy cow. I still don't know where the hell they are. But But this episode has gone on a bit longer than I had anticipated. <laughs> uh but so that's gonna do it for this episode. Then in the next episode I guess we'll just keep exploring. Hopefully I get to a grinding area soon because I really want to get into the combat and I want to upgrade my character and I want to get doing that stuff but it is very useful learning how the mechanics of the game work and stuff. It may take a couple episodes to do that but it's worth it in the end if I don't have to keep constantly wondering why is this working the way it is and I'm not doing that and schniz like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!